Hey, thanks so much for watching. My name is Tom and you're watching Tom Stack Academy. In this video, we're going to build a bot that will automatically create resumes for you. So let's say you have a consulting firm with maybe 100 consultants and you want 100 resumes in the same style, then this case is for you. And I'm going to build this robot in your iPad Studio X. So if you have your iPad Studio, just go to Home, Settings, License and Profile, Change Profile, and you can change here from your iPad Studio to your iPad Studio X. So let's go back to the drawing board. And first of all, we're going to navigate to rpa-unlimited.com and we're going to download the source files here. So click on navigate to the YouTube examples. And then this is the one you need. Generate resumes with your iPad Studio X for Frog Consulting. Open course material. And then click here to download the sample files. Show in folder. Extract this zip file. And now you see here the files that we're going to use. So just copy them. Navigate to uh, my documents slash UiPad and then navigate to Frog Consulting or the project that you've just created. And I'm just going to paste the documents here. You see that we have a CV template. Now this resume is quite basic. You see a name, a birth date and a last job. But the good news is that you can add as many fields as you want to this resume and you can as well change it to your own style. Now there are two things that are important. First of all, you need to put as placeholders here. And the placeholders that I use are name, birth date, and last job between square brackets. And then the second thing is, in the image that you use, you have to make sure that the alternative text, so this one also contains picture between square brackets. Because based on this alt text, UIP is gonna recognize which picture we want to change. Now, as I said, very simple CV example, but in most cases, the CV will contain way more fields. So let's close this one. Let's go to UiPad. And the first activity I'm going to use is the use Excel file. And I'm going to connect with this Excel file, frogs.xlsx. And this is the main file that contains all the data about the consultants. And you see this frog consultancy company, they have Kermit the Frog, John the Frog, and Jake McFroggy. They have birth dates and they also have last jobs. And they also have a picture. And you see here that I'm referring to the pictures here, frog 1, 2, and 3, but without the JPEG. Of course, you can use the same file, just download it from rpa-unlimited.com. Just make sure that you add all the fields that you want to add here. So let's close it. Let's go back to UiPad and then connect with this file. And then I'm gonna use um, a for each loop. This is the one you need for each Excel row because we want to do a certain actions for every row. For, for every consultant, we want to perform certain steps so that we generate a resume for that frog. Now, in range, that's sheet one, that's the sheet that we are using. And you also have to enable has headers because this file has headers. And the first thing we're gonna do for every consultant is we're gonna copy the file and the file is the CV template. And we're gonna copy that file for every consultant. So just search for copy file. This is the one you need, put it here. And then you have it once to know our source file. So click here on a directory icon and then select CV template. And then UiPath wants to know the name of the file that we want to copy to. And I'm going to click here on current row, name. But then I'm going to go to open an advanced editor and I'm going to add something. Because I don't just want to save the file by the name of the person. I also want to add the extension. So click plus, double quotation marks, and then add dot docx. Click OK. And you can as well enable override. Then the next activity that we're going to use is a use word file. This one, so just drag it to below the copy file because we want to use the file that we just created. So click here, click on text, just copy this entire piece, then go to use word file, click on the plus here, click on text and just paste everything here. So for every consultant, we have now copied the template to the name of the consultant .docsx. Then you see that in the word file, CV template, you see all those placeholders. So you see name, you see birth date and last job. So we want to replace all of those placeholders by the real text, so the real name of that frog. So let's do that. And for that, we're gonna go back to UI Studio X. And we're gonna search for replace text. Replace text in document, this is the one you need. I need to put it in the use word file. Search for, click on the plus symbol and then on text. I'm gonna search for the name. And we're gonna replace the name by current row name. And we're going to do the same for the next fields. And of course, if you have added additional fields to the Excel file, you also need to create a replace text in document for all those fields. So then let's search for birth date text. 
birth date. We're going to replace the birth date by the real birth date of the frog, this one. And then there is one more, so replace text and document. Search for text. Last job. And we're going to replace this placeholder by current row, last job. Then there is one more activity that we need before we're going to PDF this document. We're going to replace the picture. So put that one here. Then you see here, find pictures with alt text. And again, make sure that the placeholder refers to uh, edit alt text, this text here, picture. So go back to UiPad. And in the text, we're going to add picture. Uh, replace with picture, click here on plus, current row, picture. But we're going to add it a bit here. So click on open advanced editor. Use plus, double quotation marks, dot JPEG. Just make sure that all the pictures have the same extension, where that's JPEG. And if that's PNG, you can also add PNG here, right? But for now, it's JPEG. Click OK. And the last thing that we're going to do is save the document as PDF. So search for PDF. Save document as PDF as part of the Word activities. Put it here. And we're going to save every resume as plus, current row, name. Then we're also going to add something, open an advanced editor, plus, because those files are PDFs. So we're going to save them as uh, the name.pdf. Click OK. So let's close the Word documents and let's run this robot. Click Run. Okay, let's see what we just created. So let's navigate to the directory where our files are hosted. And you see here, Jake McFroggy. And for Jake McFroggy, birthday 26th of September, consultant picture frog tree. So let's open Jake. And you see indeed that the birthday is correct, the name is correct, and the last job as a consultant is also correct. And we also have the correct picture. Again, I oversimplified this assignment, but if you want to add more fields, just add more. And of course, use your own Word document with your company logo and format. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope it was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video.